Hiya. So we're going to be learning Break the Radio. So the song is in standard tuning and the guitar part is just made up of one repeating riff that just kind of repeats throughout the song. So the riff goes like this. And any time that the guitar is in the song, it's just that riff just repeating over and over. So that riff itself is actually made up of two different guitar parts. So we've got the first one, which is the chords. So we're going. And then we've got a little lead part that goes. So we'll start off by learning the chords. So we start off with this chord. So here, I've got my index finger barred over the whole of the fifth fret. So I'm pressing down on all the strings on the fifth fret, just like that. Then I've got my uh, ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string. And then finally, I've got my middle finger on the sixth fret of the B string. So we've got fifth fret of the low E string, fifth fret of the A string, 7th fret of the D string, 5th fret of the G string, 6th fret of the B string, and 5th fret of the high E string. So that's the first chord. So then the second chord we've got. So here, I've now got my index finger barred over the whole of the 6th fret this time. Then I've got my middle finger on the 8th uh, fret of the A string my little finger on the 8th fret of the D string and my middle finger on the 7th fret of the G string. So we've got 6th fret of the E string, 8th fret of the A string, 8th fret of the D string, 7th fret of the G string and then 6th fret of the B and high E strings. So far we've got so then for the third shape all I'm going to do is just move that second chord up two frets. So I've now got my index finger barred over the whole of the eighth fret. And then we've got my uh, ring finger on the 10th fret of the A string, my little finger on the 10th fret of the D string, my uh, middle finger on the sep the sorry the ninth fret of the G string. So we've got eighth fret of the low E string, 10th fret of the A string, 10th fret of the D string, ninth fret of the G string, and then eighth fret of the top two strings. And then finally, the last chord, we've got this chord. So now I've got my index finger barred over the whole of the fifth fret. And then I've just got my ring finger on the seventh fret of the A string, and my little finger on the seventh fret of the D string. So we've just got fifth fret of the low E string, seventh fret of the A string, seventh fret of the D string, and then fifth fret of the top three strings. So now we've got the four chords. So we've got. So then for the strumming pattern, it's kind of what gives the chords its character. So we've got. So the strumming pattern I'm doing there is. So we start off by a downstroke, then an upstroke, and then finally a downstroke. So we've got, so then after that, we just finish by going, so that's just a quick down, up stroke, and then we do the whole thing again. So down, up, down, down, up, so. So again, I'm just going. So that's the chord element to it. And then for the lead riff, so we've got. So we start off here on the eighth fret of the A, uh, eighth fret of the high E string, sorry. So. so then after that, we're gonna play the 10th fret of the B string. So we've got. So we start by playing the eighth fret of the high E string three times, so we've got. And then we're just going to play the 10th fret of the B string. So then after that, we're going. So that is, we start off on the 8th fret of the B string. 
then the 10th fret of the B string. Then after that, we're gonna go down to the fifth fret of the B string. And then the sixth fret of the B string. So very slowly, so far we've got. And then finally we end by playing the sixth fret of the B string and the fifth fret of the high E string at the same time. So, so, so we've got. So we're going. So then if you want to kind of make it a little bit more complicated, you can throw in the occasional sign of down up picking. So. But that's just optional. Uh, either way, it'll sound good. So. And then just that alongside the chords. And that makes up the whole of the guitar of the, of, uh, the song. So the guitar cuts out in the choruses during that bit. So. And then just after those choruses, it just comes back in again. And it's just the same each time, just that loop repeating throughout the rest of the song. So I hope it's been helpful for you.